Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on, YouTubers? I'm going to talk to you today about the uh, Little Mermaid film, the new 2023 Little Mermaid film. Now, I recently went to go see it. Now, let's get some background information on all this, okay? The animated version of The Little Mermaid premiered in 1989 when I was three years old. So, I don't remember going to see it at the movies, but I do remember my kindergarten and first grade class watching it. Um, and all of us liking the movie. So, naturally, because I grew up with it, to a certain degree, I was curious about this new movie, and I'm going to watch it and see what all the hype's about and everything else. Um, I'm going to say this. Halle Bailey did a very good job on the acting side playing Ariel. Uh, the singing side, I kind of like Jody Benson's animated voice better, uh, but Halle Bailey did a very, very good job playing Ariel. Was there any underlying woke messages or propaganda? I didn't think so. Um, and there are going to be some spoiler alerts. I'm not going to tell you how the ending happens. I mean, it's, you know, if you've seen the animated version, you're gonna know how it ends. Uh, anyways, but a King Triton had seven daughters from seven corners of the world, and one of his daughters was a light-skinned uh, black girl, uh, Ariel, and then he had one that was a dark-skinned black girl, and he had one that was blonde hair, blue-eyed, he had one that was Asian-looking, one that was Hispanic-looking, so, um, and then the other two, I wasn't quite sure. Uh, so, it was like, it symbolized, like, diversity within the Mormon kingdom. But a lot of the kingdoms showed that there was a lot of prejudice between the Mormon kingdom and the human kingdom against each other, more so than the cartoon. The cartoon, the animated version of the cartoon kind of just showed that there was prejudice on the Mormon kingdom, but it showed prejudice in the human world here, too. So, really, the only underlying message is, is that both sides need to work together and that both sides, the humans and the mermans, misunderstood each other. So, that was fine. I mean, that was, and I believe we're all God's children. It's, uh, you know, it was a good message. The visual effects, I watched it in 3D, and I also had a D-Box seat. I went to uh, Cinemark in Pearl, Mississippi, formerly known as uh, Tinseltown. So, with those 3D glasses, with all those visual effects, like, it was like right up in there. And it was, it was really good. The people who did the visual effects for this film are top, were top notch, um, top notch officials. And this, those visual effects were really good. Um, they downplayed Flanders role a little bit compared to the animated version. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, you know, everybody should go see it. I thought it was a really good movie. Because I grew up with the animated version a little more, I might would prefer the animated version a little bit, but not by much. Because this was a really, really good movie, and, you know, I hope it does well. Now, before we go any further, if people are boycotting it, I, whether if I agree with it or not, which obviously I don't, because I'm going to go see it, I understand it, because the thing is, okay, and this is, you know, I'm glad The Princess and the Frog came out, and I think more Disney movies need to be like Princess and the Frog and come out. But The Little Mermaid was based on a Scandinavian fairy tale. I mean, that's how the animated version happened. It was a Scandinavian fairy tale. Pretty much Ariel in that was Lily White. So, you know, they go in and change it for this movie. And I didn't think the movie was very racist or anti-white at all. You watch the live-action movie, you wouldn't think it is. But, okay, let's just reverse the situation. Let's say there's an African tale a film is based off of and the characters are, are black, and Disney comes in and changes the character to being white. There'd be a lot of outrage, and rightfully so. There, there should be outrage in that situation. Um, but I chose not to boycott it. I chose to go see it, and I don't regret my decision, and I was glad that I did so. Um, so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. So, everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.